We're back with our special coverage of today's truly bombshell January 6th Select Committee hearing and the damning portrait of former President Trump painted by Cassidy Hutchinson, a top aide to then White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Let's discuss with the veteran journalists Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein, whose reporting uncovered, as all of you know, the Watergate scandal. Woodward is also the co-author of the book Peril, about the last days of the Trump presidency. And Bernstein is the author of the uh, book Chasing History, A Kid in the Newsroom, both excellent, excellent books. And thanks to, to Carl and Bob for joining us. Carl, uh, we've spoken throughout these hearings. You and I have known each other for many years. Uh, and you've suggested to me several times this, what, it, what has happened during the insurrection, was worse than Watergate. Did we learn today just how much worse it was? We did, and something else uh, has occurred to me, and that is, uh, and we'll see what the historians say, but if she is not contradicted, she has nailed the greatest conspiracy, criminal and seditious, against the Republic of the United States since the Civil War and Jefferson Davis. Jefferson Davis was a member of Congress. He was not the President of the United States. No President has engaged in any, including Richard Nixon, has engaged in anything like we heard today. So if what she is saying is accurate, now we see the Secret Service is coming in and saying they're cooperating. I'd be very surprised if they contradict her. This is unprecedented. She painted, you just in your introduction, talked about the picture she painted. She pictured a, um, a mad king. The stability of the President of the United States, which incidentally, Republicans have been in the Senate and some in the House questioning his stability since the first days of his presidency. They've told reporters about it. We've reported it occasionally. We should have reported it much more and find, found a way to do it better because we have known, I've put it on the air some, others have, but we haven't been consistent about it. We've known this is an unstable man. The 25th Amendment, there were members of the cabinet that wanted to invoke it, including the wife of, of Senator McConnell, the majority or the leader of the Republicans in the Senate. She quit the next day after January 6th. Betsy DeVos, the Secretary of Education, quit the next day. Why? They understood what this president was capable of in this terrible, horrible, seditious way. Let me get Bob to weigh in. Uh, what do you think? How much worse is this than Watergate? Well, uh, the, the portrait here of, um, Carl's right, mental instability. And I think it goes further. And uh, Bob Costa and I reported on this, General Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs, worrying about the mental stability of the president. He gets this call from Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, saying We're, that she, that, you know, the next in line after the vice president to be president if something happens, and she knows all about this and uh, the, the protocols, and she says, Trump is crazy. He'll start using nuclear weapons. How can you, the number one military man in the country, guarantee me this will not happen? And he said, oh, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. And then he starts thinking about it. And he developed this phrase, uh, the absolute darkest moment of theoretical possibility is in his job he had to look at the absolute worst happening and he then reconsidered and was so worried called in the officers in the pentagon who run the national military command center and take orders from the National Command Authority, which is the President of the United States, to use nuclear weapons or to launch some sort of military action. And Milley called these people in, one-star officers, colonels, uh, captains in the Navy, and went around the room and said, do you understand I have to be involved in this process? I want your personal oath and guarantee that if that happens, you will call me. He has phones all over uh, quarter six where he lives. And uh, they said, yes, yes, yes. Now, for this happened in Watergate. 
Carl and I remember this vividly when the Secretary of Defense, Schlesinger. Jim Schlesinger, told the military, don't take orders from Nixon about nuclear weapons or any military action. So we, what, um, I, I think in a way, what happened today may mean uh, that uh, the January 6th committee has written Donald Trump's political obituary. Really? Yes, I think it's, it's that devastating. Carl and I spend a lot of time with Republicans, and Republicans don't want That's right. somebody who, I mean, the, the portrait that was painted today of the President of the United States leaping from the back seat, trying to grab the steering wheel. And, and, and allegedly choking his top uh, Secret Service agent. I mean, pretty dramatic. Yeah, all right, let's that. continue these conversations. Very, very powerful day indeed, very historic as well. Guys, thank you very, very much.